Hey guys, legit buddies back. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. All right. Um. Well, sorry for you know keeping you out for a long time, but I'm back on another track. And um, yeah, I know I look. I, I sound so gay. All right. So, how to port forward your route? Sure. Are you guys excited? <laughs> yeah, I've been um, staying up. I stayed up all night, to, all night last night, trying to figure out how to do this, and finally, I came up with a conclusion, and I found out how to do it. And this is your, this year, um, like you know, this is your present for giving me 1,000 views on my first video. All right, so let's start. So, um. So first, you're gonna need no IP, no IP dot com. All right. Um, uh, sign in or create account. Free. And then just fill all this crap out. Uh, you know. Um, I accept pre. I already have an account, so I'm just gonna sign in. You know. All right. After that, you download it. I'll give you the link in the description, and then after that, you go to add a host. After you click add a host, you put your host name, uh, just like anything like RSPS or legit fill like my RSPS, whatever your RSPS. Let's just look at that. Um, and then just do no IP dot biz, and then create host. Once you're done, um, download it. Uh, if I'm going too fast, just tell me. No, I'll go a little slower. All right, I'll go a little slower because I'm just really, really excited. Just download it here. I don't really need to have to waste time for this. I mean, it's kind of obvious. Just click download. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't need it. All right. I already have it downloaded. Why would I download it again? So open it up. Click select host. And then just click there, right? Save. All right. Now next part. All right. Um, this part is easy. Don't worry. All right. Um, so go to CMD. Open up your CMD. Do type in ipconfig. All right, and then you put the one. You put the default gateway in here, right? This one right here, right? So, all right. Now, so this one is mine. You might have a different one, but it is the same thing. You fill out the same stuff. So for me, I'll I'd click on advanced, and then. I would go down I would go down and click port forwarding and then well this is I guess this is for me only and then I would choose a service name so I will you need to click new custom service 
and then make it like anything you want like the name of your server let's just do your RSPS server and then both both alright and then do 43594 43594 43594 guys it will say start port and port and LA and port even if you have a different even if you have links even if you have anything it's gonna say the same exact thing if not then it'll probably say like I don't know but like it's gonna be in that order so you're gonna put 43594 on all of them that need numbers and then just click create alright and then uh, after that you go down click your RSPS your RSPS server and then click enable um, and then you just put your IP address over here put your IP address um, like you can just I mean I didn't really do anything to get it I just like went on this can you see me dot org and then just <laughs> I just copied this <laughs> I really uh, to be honest I don't know how to get it alright so then and then just click enable what uh, just like yeah alright you see after that we're not done people we're not done it's been six minutes alright now click on computer um what's next 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 no 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 not computer sorry guys click on or type in network and, and sharing center alright open that up Open that up, and then um, click Windows Firewall. Click um, Advanced Settings. Click Inbound Rules, New Rule. Click Port, and then click Next. And then TCP specific local ports put four. Three five nine four. Click next. Um, allow the connection. Next, next, and then just put your name, your RSPS server. I think. All right. After that, you click finish, and then you add another rule. Alright, um, next. And then this time do UDP. And then do 43594. Click next. Uh, allow the connection, yeah. Next. Name. Same exact name. Finish. Alright. We are done. In less than. How much minutes was that? Oops. Eight, eight, nine minutes. That's it. All right. Um, and then if you want to see if it works, you go to can you see me dot org. What port? Put four three five nine four. Check your port. And success. You're done. If you have a different router and you cannot or somehow can't do it, just go to port forwarding I think wait what's the website portfor.com like that yeah portfor.com and then um, click guide support forwarding and then it'll go it, it'll it'll help you you know uh, um, like if you can't figure it out by this video just go here it'll help you um, uh, that's it my next video, I will show you guys how to how to make it uh, how to put it into a web client and. Uh
yeah, that's it. And I'm also trying to start a new episode of me creating, well, me getting a blank source, um, and then turning it into well, a blank source, and then like you know fixing it up, and then I'm gonna tape the whole thing, and then put episode episode like I'm gonna I'm gonna make it live. All right, this is live too, by the way. Um, and then about Skype, like I told you guys, if you want me to help you, um, just tell me on Skype. That would really help, cause I don't know if that dude is a friend or that dude is YouTube or that dude is blah 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 blah. blah. And yeah. All right, guys. Next video is how to make an um, uh, how to put in a web client, and then the video after that is how to make it into a jar file. And then the web the thing after that is going to be the um, how to connect it with like a web like web gator for example and how to put like for example like soul split like soul split credits voting points off codes all that all that good stuff all right so um, I'm done hope you guys enjoyed peace bye all right peace all right thanks thanks for listening if you got this far you're awesome all right just sub subscribe like read the description description all the links will be in the description everything is going to be in the description don't even worry about anything